Hi everybody, hope your day is going well. We are back at the Acropolis with Asaf Avidan Reckoning Song. And uh, this was requested by Orly. Thank you so much for the donation. Truly appreciate it. And I know there's another version of this. It's uh, a quite a bit shorter, but I believe there's other, uh, it's in a box as well. And this is, uh, you know, the live version. And also he talks about the song uh, in this video. So I just wanted to hear him talk about it. It's always fun to hear, uh, you know, I like to give my own interpretation, but if, if the artist wants to do that as well, uh, I'm happy to listen to and learn from it to see where they're at, where their creative process might have been. So I don't know what we can expect, but I'm here for it. That's all I know. Thank you again, and let's check it out. Okay, guitar. Yeah. How many instruments can this guy play like i've seen him do a whole lot of things on his own with looping pedals and pianos and i don't know what all if <laughs> like and a beautiful picking pattern here too man it definitely sets the mood Wow. No more tears, my heart is dry. I don't laugh and I don't cry. I don't think about job or town, but when I do, I wonder why. Wait a second. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know this song. I've heard this, but I haven't done this reaction. <laughs> Sometimes that happens, and this song must have been one of his biggest hits if i know it because i don't really listen to radio or you know i just listen to my own bubble of music in regular life which is usually hip-hop but now you know his voice always sounded familiar to me but now this song <laughs> i've heard this i've heard this but now i'm gonna sit down and actually listen because, you know, when the radio's playing sometimes at work or in the car, when, when I'm driving with my wife, then the radio's on and sometimes you hear songs. But I don't really, you know, pay attention that much. But I've heard this. This must have been a big hit or else I wouldn't have known. <laughs> okay, so let's go. I, I was caught off guard. Sorry. Let's start again. Excuse me. Apologies. No more tears, my heart is dry I don't laugh and I don't cry I don't think about child the town But when I do, I wonder why You had to go out of my dorm Leave just like you did before I know I said that I was shy But a rich man can't imagine Paul Oh, baby, baby, yeah. Oh, baby, we be old and think of all the stories that we could have told. Mm. One day, baby, we be old. Oh, baby, we be old and think of all the stories that we could have told.
things that we could have told. Yes, this was a big song. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, man. And one day. You know, that's something I think about many times. You know, I've been together with my wife for 20 years. Well, she was, you know, since we were in high school, basically, you know. And that's that feeling of nostalgia. Like when we're old, we're going to be talking, hopefully, if we get there, you know. Um, you talk about the old days. We, we already do because, you know, we, we, we've been through so much already you know and you talk about things you used to do with your friends and hang out and sit in a at a you know in a abandoned playground and just hang out or go out and go to parties and whatnot and sitting on a porch you think about hey we're going to be sitting on our porch talking about this nostalgia is an addictive drug you got to be careful with that uh you don't want to be living too much in the past <clears throat> but I like to, you know, I, you know, I like to be uh, nostalgic once in a while. It's it's so comforting. Oh, yo, I can't believe it. I knew one of his songs all along without knowing it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. OK, and I definitely now am interested in, in hear what he has to say about it. And and see if I'm right or wrong about this, if it's about nostalgia or not. You know, when we are alone with our thoughts and stuff, and, you know, you go down that road, you, you slip into that easily, easily. Holy. Okay, sorry, people, for talking so much. Wow. Little me and little you kept doing all the things they do. They never really think it through like I can never think it true. Here I go again, the blame, the guilt, the pain, the hurt, the mm. shame, the founding fathers of our blame. And stuck in heavy clouds of rain. Mmm. happening to my brain right now but you know it could also be slipping away into dark thoughts sometimes you know it's so easy to go into the past and sometimes it could be shame guilt and then you go to that dark place just like he said in um the pain the train to the pain and the previous song man with no name that one the one i did you know and also it could be like if you go your separate ways with a person you love and you know, you're not together anymore. And then you'll be thinking when you're both old, like, oh man, if we were to stay together, just imagine all the stories we could have told, you know, and you go into these hypothetical stories that never happened and you imagine a life for yourself that you never lived or never will live. Yo, this guy's too good. He, he sparks my imagination like no one else. Oh, wow. Oh my Lord. Oh,
want you to try to do something with me tonight. See, every now when I sing this song, there's a place I need to go to in order to sing it, you know? It needs to be honest. And so I go to a place. See, I know some of you are translating the song through your own prisms, and that's good, that's fine. Mm -hmm. This is just as much your song as it is my yes. song. So you're allowed to do, you're allowed to think of it as a hopeful song. You're allowed to think of it as carpe diem, seize the day. But for me, this is a song about loss. Mm. You know, I remember the day that I wrote it, you know. I remember the girl I wrote it about, and I remember the conversation we had. And, I remember sitting down, I had this apartment with a wooden floor and we were sitting down on that floor and we were talking and I remember something she said and I remember something I said and I remember something she said and I remember something I said back and I remember it because I remember the look in her eyes as they broke into more pieces than they were made of and I remember seeing that look and I remember thinking God, how do you take words back? There's no amount of sorries that can take these words back, but there they were, you know. And then the stories that we could have told will never happen. So that might be the, the second situation I, I talked about. For me, it felt in my personal prison, like he said, it's that nostalgia. But then when I listened more carefully, I thought, okay, this could be a relationship you part ways with a person just like i said and then you'll be old and you'll be thinking about that once again about the stories you could have told wow and the certain part he was saying like she said i said you know he did that like in a song like i said baby no what song was that again and then you know like a conversation and maybe that uh comes from that same place that same inspiration and I love that he said you can interpret it to your own lens of experience, which, you know, if you write, I write books and five or 50 percent comes from the writer and 50 percent comes from the imagination of the reader. So it's a kind of a collaboration anyway. And when you release it, when you put it out into the world, it's no longer your song, no longer your text anymore. It now belongs to the world and they can fill in the gaps with their own heart. In mind so beautiful beautiful words back but there they were you know? they're out there and i remember her not saying another word just getting up and turning around i remember looking at her back as she went farther and farther away to the door and she kind of slowed down and i i guess she was waiting for me to say something but i didn't and then she just opened the door she walked through the door and she closed the door and I just fell down immediately. You know, my, my ear was against the wooden floor. I could hear the reverberations of her footsteps as she was fading away from my life forever, you know? And the reckoning. I, at that moment, I knew that I will never have her again. Whatever it is that we had is over. And it's not like I sing this song about her anymore. That's in the past. It's a million light years away, but you know, it's still, you need to find some place to go to when you sing this song. You need to find some loss inside you, these caverns of your own topography, you know? And you try Beautiful. to give them a voice. And so what I want you to do just for tonight is I want you to try to go through this specific translation with me tonight. I want you to close your eyes, really just close your eyes and try to envision in your mind's eye and your heart. I see it, man. I see somebody it. Somebody that you lost in your life and you know you'll never see again and try to really, try to really picture them, you know, what are they wearing? Did they change at all? Did they change their hair? 
And how are they looking at you? Is it with is it with blame? Is it with guilt? Is it with forgiveness? Is it with anger? Is it with love? Is it with compassion? Is it with empathy? With understanding? What is it that they show you? You know? And I'll try to really see them. And then we're gonna try to sing this song again, you know. From this place. And the secret is. The secret is not to succumb to depression because of loss. This loss creates these caverns of your landscape and it's just a beautiful place to walk in and we must give them a voice. Otherwise, they weigh us down. And so loss becomes just another beautiful way in our passage here, you know? Just another place to visit. Give it a voice and dignity and beauty. One day, baby, we'll be up. Oh, baby, we'll be up. And think about the stories that we could have told. One day, baby, we'll be up. Oh, baby, we'll be up. And think about the stories that we could have told. was uh, intense there at the end and I, I I'm glad that I chose uh, to go with this particular version now that uh, we know a little bit of the backstory and uh, yeah and I was thinking you know not about you know because like I said I'm 20 years in so the people that I've lost are not here anymore and I can't really picture what they're wearing or how they would look at me because they're just somewhere somewhere else and uh you know there's many things going through you know there's a part of me that's gone forever after a few dark years uh, but that could be a little bit narcissistic just thinking about a, about yourself and there's a time and place that i can't get back to that i really miss as well 
but I also see it like, man, that line, like stories we could have told, make sure that the stories you do want to tell that you, that you get on that. Uh, so you don't have to have regrets there at the end of your life. Uh, there's still time uh, to do some of those. Not all, not all, but there's still time. So make sure uh, that could have, you know, that you cut that out and start working on those stories right now. Uh, beautiful, beautiful song performance. And I was also thinking like, uh, you know, when you revisit this song in 10 years after you may have uh, parted ways with people or suffered losses that this can hit entirely different. While it could be a song of hope now, it could turn into a song of loss or the other way around. Uh, that's that kind of music that remains timeless. And uh, while your life perspectives change, while your life changes, uh, your view and meaning of the song could change as well, which uh, is uh, very, it's amazing, but also scary at the same time, isn't it? Beautiful. Thank you, Orly, once again. Uh, this was amazing. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.